My name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd Homes Farm, and today we'll be talking about grow mediums for hydroponics. Join with me today. So this here is rock wool, and rock wool is made from molten rock spun into these little blocks. And it's a very light and fluffy, very absorbent. And it, it also, it's very absorbent while it provides air to the roots at the same time. This is perfect for hydroponics as it sits in the nutrients. It could also be used for regular applications like potted plants or in-ground planting as well, although it's a bit expensive if you were to do it for that. Um, I use these as the main grow medium in each of my grow mediums. You can see it down here at the bottom underneath. Okay, so each of these, that's where I put my seeds on top of this. Like as you can see, very little, it's sitting in the moisture right now, sitting in the solution and you can see very little water, very little moisture comes out. It's very, very absorbent. And the roots are very happy and they get lots of air and water at the same time because one big thing you don't want to happen is to flood the plant because the roots do need oxygen to survive. So you can't just dip a whole plant in water, it will just drown and die. Um, these little clay petal pebbles we have on top are uh, clay pebbles. And I use these to block the light from entering into the hydroponic solution and uh, allowing algae to grow. I, I, I didn't do it on my first test and my very beginner version of this hydroponic setup and I, and I didn't have this little film over this and I just let all these other, other pots just be open and there was nothing but gross algae and green. It was bubbling and it just looked very nasty. I'm not, I didn't think it actually affected the growth of the plant because the plant tasted good and the plant grew fine and didn't have any adverse effects, but it was just very, very nasty as far as algae on the roots and stuff like that and having to deal with the smell of, you know, the algae smell. And so this time I put this uh, reflective sheet on top of it and I cut holes to where I want the net pots to go. And uh, so that blocks out all the light and, but there's also still the actual um, rock wool itself right here. And so if you don't cover these up with these clay pebbles, light will get to it and it'll cause algae and then the algae will go in and just get everywhere. I, algae was a really big problem with, uh, with me last grow, so I'm taking a lot of steps this time. As you can see right here, you might be able to see the algae's already kind of growing. Um, I'm not trying to see it touch towards the camera. You can see it's a little green right there. So very hard to get rid of algae once you get it. So minimizing it up front and first is, uh, is very key to successful growing hydroponically. There we go. So that's what I use for my setup in hydroponic solution. You can also use clay pebbles for the actual grow medium itself, medium itself and not use these rock wool casings I haven't tried that yet, but that's another option for clay pebbles as well. Um, I really like these. You could just drop them in the hydroponic solution and then they get all soaked up and then you put your seeds on there and then you could just set these seeds in a tr in these little rock wools in a tray and let them germinate for a couple of days and then you can put these into these little net pots. It's, they're very handy. Uh, once again, the uh, link is in the description for these rock wool. Uh, if you like these videos, subscribe, comment below and hit that like button. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.